Good morning everyone, I'm Pastor Jimmy Pickett and the verse I want to share with you today is 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 11 and it says, Now these things happened unto them for an examples and they are written for our admonition, meaning correction, upon whom the ends of the world are come. So what this is saying is, first of all, it says this happened unto them. This is talking about the Old Testament prophets, it's talking about the New Testament disciples and the apostles, folks. As it was in the beginning, it shall also be in the end. Um, so, so there are many examples in the Bible of things that happened in the beginning. They will happen again. And I'll give you a perfect example. What about Noah's flood? Now, I know the first thing somebody's going to think is they're going to be saying, oh, well, God promised he'd never flood the earth with water again. That's right, not with water. There will be another flood, and it's Revelation chapter 12, verse 15, and it says the serpent issued out of his mouth as if it were a flood of water. Folks, the flood for this end generation is the flood of lies. What lies? Well, first of all, there's a lot of false prophets standing behind pulpits today that are spewing forth lies, but the deepest meaning of this is talking about Satan himself, the Antichrist, the devil, the red dragon, and I'm giving you all these names because he pretends to be so many different things, folks. And what will be coming out of his mouth will be lies. It's a flood of lies because he will be claiming to be Jesus Christ when in fact he is the Antichrist, Satan. But you know what? If you've got Jesus Christ in your boat today and you've accepted him as your Lord and Savior and you are founded in the Word of God to understand and know the things that are happening today are prophecy steadily coming to pass. You know, just, just like when Moses parted the Red Sea, hey, they walked through that and they didn't even have mud on their feet. Their feet didn't even get wet. Well, guess what? It's going to be the same thing in the sin generation as it was in the Noah's flood. But the thing about it is, when you got Jesus in your boat today, folks, your, your feet won't even get wet. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hey, if this has edified you today, hit your share button. Hit your share button. God's children are starving to death today for the Word of God, and they're starving to death for peace and hope, folks. Uh, hey, we're now brought to you by your tithes and offering. Hey, if we've helped you, help us continue to come to you. Would you do that? Hey, me and my wife want to give a shout out to each and every person that's following on our ministry pages. Hey, we love you guys so very much. And we are praying for you and your families each and every day. Hey, thank you so, God bless you, and thank you for spending this time with me in the Holy Word of God.